everyone thank you so much for joining me on my channel now today i've got another friday five minute make for you this is a really lovely bright rainbow colored card and if you stay tuned to the end you'll see the finished result in around about five minutes by the way five minutes doesn't usually include getting your materials and tools together uh, but five minutes making the cards so hopefully really really quick for you so first thing I'm going to do, and I have already chosen some Distress Oxide colours. This is Twisted Citron, Squeezed Lemonade, Wilted Violet, Picked Raspberry and Broken China. And I'm going to blend these into a white card base. Now this is actually a piece of cardstock rather than the base because if I do anything wrong then I can just replace the cardstock rather than losing an entire card base. Now I had a little bit of an issue with one of my blending brushes here and um, they had it had something that had dried on it I don't know what but it was affecting the ink blending so I switched that up and that's the reason I sped this up because it did take a little bit longer than it usually would um, but then I also forgot that I wasn't supposed to be taking the colour right into the middle so I've colour covered my entire card base that's fine um, you know it, it happens so um, we're going to work with it. So now my background's done, I'm going to take some leaf stamps. I'm going to be using the Textures uh, Half Tone Leaf Stamps from the Magnolia Drive range. And I'm just going to pop one of these onto a clear block and use some clear embossing ink. And I'm going to start randomly stamping around the card base with this. Now you can do this with uh, multiple different leaf shapes or you can stick with the same one, but I'm just going to do a few with this and then uh, one other shape as well I'll show you the effect in between to make the stamped leaves easier to see I'm going to emboss them with clear powder before I try and stamp some more leaves around them Once you've embossed the leaves for the first time, they're much easier to see to then stamp a secondary leaf design around them. Again, you need to add clear embossing powder to these stamped leaves also. With leaves now stamped and clear embossed all the way around the edge, and you can just see the glossiness of them there, I'm then going to take just some water and completely saturate the front of my card with the water straight away you'll start to see that we've got the ink underneath reacting with that water and this is the reason I use distress inks and oxides so I'm just going to lift off as much of that as possible and you can see there we've got some lovely coloured leaves showing much darker than the rest of the background Depending on the cardstock you use, you're going to have different effects with this. I really like that I've got quite a mottled effect, but either way, you've got the much darker, brighter colour leaves now showing around the outside of the paler rainbow background. With some double-sided tape, I'm just going to pop my card base or my card front onto my card base there. And I'm using double-sided tape uh, as quite a lot of it, just so that any warping that happened with spritzing that cardstock with ink has uh it's all smoothed out now so it's nice and flat again and then i've got myself one of the katie skilton um sentiments this comes from her homespun collection that's just launched recently i'm going to use the just a note sentiment so i'll put that inside my stamping platform i'm just going to stamp this in black because black and white will stand out really nicely onto the rainbow background so there's my stamped and die cut sentiment and I'm just going to use one of my strips from my sentiments roll pack which is actually now back in stock which is brilliant and I'm going to pop this underneath probably a black strip here. As always I just like to finish off with some little dots either enamel dots or some pearls or some gems crystals something like this just to give it the finishing touch. And there we have it. If you have all the supplies ready, you could probably uh, make a, quite a few of these within an hour. It's certainly a five, maybe five to ten minute card, but definitely a quick card for you to do. I hope you love this. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and 
do check out the playlist where we've now got a few different five minute cards on there and I will be uploading a new one of these every Friday for you. Thanks for joining me everybody. Take care. I'll see you soon. Thank you.